Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna do a tutorial how to short sell on Vanguard's platform. However, if you haven't already seen my video explaining the concept and the risks of short selling, definitely go watch that first. If you do not understand the risks associated with short selling, then I don't recommend you do it. And before we begin, I have to vocalize my frustration with Vanguard's platform. It feels like their website is probably about 15 years old. Now, they did just release a new mobile app called Vanguard Beacon. It's currently still in beta, so I think a refresh of their website is coming soon. But for this video, I had to do it with screenshots, because once again, my personal information is just kind of everywhere, and it's a hassle to blur that out. When we look at my brokerage account main holdings page, you'll notice that it says I have an available balance of about $3,000. This is how much cash I have in the account. And then I have about $200 worth of individual stocks. Now, in order to be able to short sell, you have to enable a margin account with Vanguard. In order to get a margin account, you have to have at least $2,000 uh, deposited in the account, and then you have to apply for it. You have to ask Vanguard to enable margin trading before you can short sell. And what a margin account is, is basically just an agreement with your broker that you can borrow money from them for a certain percentage rate. Now, if you have about $3,000 in your account, uh, in, in stocks or cash, it doesn't matter, Vanguard will loan you an additional $3,000. They feel comfortable doing this, loaning you $3,000, because they know you have $3,000 in your account as collateral to pay them back. Now they do have margin requirements. It's a certain percentage, probably for Vanguard it's 30%. So if for whatever reason your uh, cash or holdings uh, drops below that 30%, then you'll get something called a margin call. Don't worry about this, don't do this, but for short selling, uh, you just have to have a margin account enabled. And if you're interested what Vanguard's interest rates are on margin lending, uh, it says your loan balance. I guess the more you borrow, the better effective interest rate you get with the base being 6%. I actually think it's really interesting compared to Charles Schwab's rates because Vanguard is charging you an interest rate on whatever you're, you're borrowing from them, whereas Schwab is charging you an interest rate on whatever your holdings are with them. And it's a very, very large difference. So for a loan rate of over a million, Vanguard's gonna charge you 4.75%. And then up to half a million, uh, Schwab is charging you 6.5. Though I, I guess if you were over a million, you'd have to call this number and they might give you a better rate. But let's not worry about that. All we're doing in this video is short selling. So on Vanguard's platform, you would go to my accounts and then buy and sell. Then click on trade ETFs and stocks. This is their trade interface, and first thing you have to do is select which account. I currently have an IRA and a brokerage account, so I'm going to select the brokerage account. Then for transaction type, you can either do buy, sell, sell short, or buy to cover. Without margin enable, you won't even see these two options. Uh, we're obviously going to be short selling today, so we're gonna select that. And then as an example stock, I haven't done any kind of research or analysis. We're just gonna get in and out today, but let's go ahead and do GM General Motors. You can type in the symbol and then click get quote. And then for number of shares, we're not gonna do anything crazy today. So we're just gonna do 10 shares. For order type, we're gonna, once again, just try and get in and out as an example. So we're gonna select market order. Now, if you, if you wanna actually short sell, you should be doing limit orders. Basically, you're saying as the stock goes up, once it hits a certain price, then I want to borrow it from my broker and then sell it uh, in order to once again buy it back at a later price for a cheaper price. Under estimated transaction details, you'll notice under commission, it says free. As of January of this year, Vanguard moved towards commission-free trades. If you had tried to do this two years ago, this trade would have cost you five or six bucks. But on Vanguard's platform, buying, selling, short selling, trading options, it's all commission free now. Now you'll notice for the net amount, it says $316. I am not paying $316 to short sell this stock. Uh, Vanguard is, is, is going to give me that money. What's happening here is I'm borrowing 10 shares from Vanguard. Where do they get it? They have a very large catalog of mutual funds and ETFs. So I'm borrowing it from one of their funds, going on the New York Stock Exchange and selling it today because I think it's overvalued. 
I'm then uh, basically going to have a, an account balance of negative 10 shares. And then uh, I'm going to have to buy back those shares, cover my sale at some point in the future in order to return these shares back to Vanguard. And ideally, if, if I buy it for cheaper than what I sold it for, I can net keep that profit. Now you'll notice in my brokerage account, I had about $3,000 in cash. When this sale goes through, I will have net gained $300. So we'll go ahead and click continue. On the next page, it's asking us just to review and submit. Everything looks good, so we will hit submit. Here is the summary page and it says that it executed. We are now going to go to my account page. And on my account page, you'll notice that my balance went up. It was $2,999. It is now $3,316. And for General Motors, my quantity, it's showing negative 10 shares. Now the, uh, the price is fluctuating, it goes up and down. But I want the price to go down. As the share price of General Motors declines, basically my unrealized gains increase but I have to uh, get out of this position at some point and buy back the shares to return them to my broker, return them to Vanguard. So let's go ahead and do that. So you would go to my accounts, buy and sell, then trade ETFs or stocks. Once again, select your brokerage account and this time we're going to click buy to cover. We're covering our short sale. So we're going to buy back 10 shares of, of GM on the New York Stock Exchange. Order type, once again, we're gonna do market order just to get this done today. For cost basis, this doesn't really matter but because we're covering all 10, but you can just do first in, first out. You can search that if you're curious about it. For the review and submit page, uh, it's giving us an estimated cost of 316.80. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it for the first market order, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit submit. Here is the summary page. It says that it executed. When we go back to my account page, it has zeroed out. So GM, I'm no longer showing a balance of negative 10 shares. It has gone to zero. Additionally, my available balance has gone back down. It was 3,300 something, and now it's back to 2,999. When we go to my account activities page, we can review the entire transaction. So I sort sold 10 shares of GM on uh, this morning of the 15th, and then I bought to cover 10 shares to get it back. It's just a coincidence that the price is the same, 3168. I, I did this with maybe like a four minute difference, so the price actually didn't fluctuate at all. However, when you look at the total amount, uh, I, I was paid for the sale 316.79, and then I had to pay to get it back, 316.83. So I did lose net four cents. The reason why is there are actually fractions of a penny being part of these buy and sells. It just doesn't show on Vanguard's website. Additionally, there was a one cent uh, commission and fee. This, this goes towards the exchange, the New York Stock Exchange. That's just part of the uh, operating costs for maintaining the New York Stock Exchange. So I lost five cents on this, uh, this short sale for this video, just once again for fun. Okay guys, that's all I got for this video. If you found this useful, give me a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, I'd love to have you with us. And if you have any comments or questions, leave me one down below. I love hearing from you guys. And until the next video, take care.